Less than a month ago, after the sexual misconduct allegations against Judge Moore surfaced, you told us here on the program that Alabama was leaning Democratic. Is that still the case? No, we've moved it back to toss up, and I'll tell you why we've done it. Uh, it's become almost impossible to determine who is actually going to show up on December the 12th, which is today, uh, in a special election in Alabama, you know, two weeks in front of Christmas. This is really difficult to determine. And in fact, if you've noticed in the polls, uh, the polls are, are wildly gyrating from survey to survey with Moore up by 10 and then Jones up by 10 and polls coming in in between. Uh, we've decided, I think a lot of other people have decided, including pollsters who are presenting for the first time three different predictions, depending on who shows up, that we're mm -hmm. just going to have to see uh, who's who's coming out to the polls and in what numbers? So, Larry, what's likely to determine that question? Uh, we don't know what the answer is, but what's going to get people out? We've heard about urban-rural distinctions, for example. Basically, uh, Alabama, as we all know, is a heavily Republican state. When Donald Trump can carry a state by 28 points, you know it's heavily Republican. Roy Moore has to fritter away those 28 points. It's difficult to do, but here's how he could do it. Here's how Jones could win. Big turnout in black belt counties, African-American vote being high up in the cities as well. Moderate Republicans in suburbs, particularly women, having been turned off to Roy Moore because of the allegations. And Republicans either staying at home because they don't like either alternative or doing what Republican senior Senator Dick Shelby suggested they do, what he did, write in another Republican, which is really a vote hmm. subtracted from from Morris category. And Doug Jones has also been getting help from prominent Democratic pro uh, Party figures like uh, President Obama, Joe Biden. How wise is getting them there when he's also trying to court Republican uh, moderates? Ideally, especially in Alabama, you do that quietly. I've been surprised at how many times I've seen Obama and Biden and other Democrats pop up on the screen, not because they're personally campaigning in Alabama, but because the news media is reporting on their robocalls or whatever else they're doing to help Doug Jones. That is not something you want to advertise if you're a Democratic candidate in Alabama, because after all, Obama uh, lost Alabama by massive, massive landslides both times, uh, Biden on the ticket, of course. But Jones needs that support in order to motivate that one big piece of his base that he knows he'll get 90% of African-Americans.